guys. The cabin guys were only giving 5%. Uh, anyway, he wrote a song and he sent it to me the other day, which like, I, I find absolutely amazing. Within two days, these people are writing songs. They're so talented. And it's called Fly On George. Uh, if, if, if you know, you know. Everybody's George, right? Um, anyway, well done, Kevin. And uh, here is the uh, first plane of Fly On George. Thank you. No, no, that's good. Um, it, James was very good to me when I first came over here. Um, about 19 or 20 months ago and he, uh, I had an interview with him and he told me I don't want to upset any other staff so he can start in a week and a half and he was very good to me over the last last while and I think I'll probably go down in the history books for the only male bartender who hasn't got fired by James. <laughs> um, the last interaction I ever had with James was last Wednesday night and he was just driving past and he opened the door, put a, someone was sitting outside and he put everything down and he just looked at me and he says, um, you know better than me, George. And he, and he walked out the door, just turned around and walked out the door. So I always remember that. And I suppose last Friday, uh, I went for a nap before work last Friday and I woke up to a fucking beret of phone calls and messages and it's, fucking been crazy since then I must say but I think like everyone we struggled to sleep last Friday night I woke up at 4.30 and I think how I deal with things in my life and I've learned to deal with things in my life is just write music and write songs and I was lying in bed hoping the neighbours weren't going to knock on my wall and I, the song came straight out after the first line like just 20, 20 minutes just straight through I haven't played it I actually wrote it and my voice was bothered me all week I think just because of the fucking craziness but I have never played it and so yeah this is called Fly On George. Everything you want and nothing in 
between